Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Part of Time 4, Thousand Week Reich, another mod where Germany won World War II. Hmm, where have I seen this one before? Today we'll be playing as the French Authority because we'll be bringing back Charles de Gaulle, retaking the French mainland, and finally taking revenge on the German Reich. So, without further ado, let's get started, and Viva la France! The French Authority in former French West Africa is an odd government. With the fall of France to Nazi Germany in 1940 and the creation of a puppet government in Fiji, Charles de Gaulle, who had escaped to Britain, called for continued resistance across France and its colonies against the new government and its German overlords. From these holdings, the French Authority arose, a semi-independent government led by former French colonial leaders but under a high degree of British control. This arrangement was never meant to be lasting, but one thing is certain, the fate of French Africa must involve radical change or certain collapse. Starting off at the French Authority, we are, well, let's say, in a dire position. Starting off with, well, zero civilian factories and zero military factories, and ranked 102nd. The French Authority, well, let's just say, is really not in that great of a position. And here we get protests in Dakar. The British rule in West Africa is being questioned by locals and French exiles. The local garrison in a moment of panic opened fire on pro-protesters, killing 16 citizens. Elites from both the Free France movement and the local population have drafted a letter detailing West Africa's desire to become a self-ruling starting five points which the British must do in order to have the hearts and minds of West Africa. And under unrelenting pressure from the local population, the French authority has caved in. And hey, Britain supports reforms! Hurrah! for democracy. And here the first election is prepared. And after a tumultuous election day, the ballot boxes are being emptied and their contents counted in West Africa's first democratic exercise in history. And the winners are... Free France. The Free French Movement has always been a major political force within West Africa. Charles de Gaulle, leader of the Free French, has been made Prime Minister of West Africa, with his grand plans of reclaiming the homeland becoming his administration's utmost priority. And under Charles de Gaulle, the first thing we can do is negotiations with Britain. And hey, freedom achieved! Charles de Gaulle's efforts to achieve total independence from Britain have ended successfully. Cheers! Now that we have gained our independence as the Free French Republic, the next thing for us to do is to rejoin the Toronto Accord. And under the goal, the Free French government has successfully joined the Toronto Accord as a member state, together against fascism. And interestingly here, uh, the African colonies of the French state actually blew up here. So as Charles de Gaulle, the first act of expansion will be to reclaim fascist Africa. And now that the Republic has been born anew, we must seek to reclaim these colonies and strike at the ones of the fascist powers. Alright, now let's begin the Saharan War, shall we? And there we go, the Council of Sahara has capitulated, and the Sahara War is won. Oh, and it seems like Hitler is dead. Today, the most powerful man in the world and the man who defined the last 30 years of history has perished. And after the death of Hitler, the right commissariats of Germany are instantly starting to blow apart. It's not a hoy for World War II victory mod if you don't see this. And now, it seems like a Manstein prevailed in a German power struggle. And as a result, the German civil war has broken out. And well, let's just say, now is our chance. With the German Reich Commissariat being splintered a million pieces and Germany itself embroiled in civil war, there is no better time for us to retake the mainland of France and take revenge on Germany once and for all. So now we're going to reclaim the overseas colonies, which gave us back a lot of the old colonies that the British had previously held. And now finally, we can start the struggle. And the German Goliath flies weaker than ever, plunge into civil war, public disorder and uprisings from the peoples, it's so brutally suppressed. It's our time to strike. We shall contact our Toronto Accord allies and consult any military action or intervention. But until then, we shall prepare for the holy reclamation of our rightful lands. Sit tight brothers, for the dawn is approaching. 
searching, and I will banish the Black Cross forever. Aux arms the Citoyens for mess for Spartalons. And with that focus done, we can now declare war on the French state and begin the Great Reclamation War. Viva la France! Alright, and instantly after the war, we have successfully secured a beachhead in northern France. We need to capitalize on this. And here we have successfully surrounded Paris. Liberation is near. And as the siege of Paris is going on and we are being pushed back, I think now is an appropriate time to call our allies in the Toronto Pact in to help us in our reclamation war. And here droves of allies are being called in the war. We just need to hold up for a bit longer and liberation will be here. And here, the most of Northern France is now being liberated under the Toronto Pact. And there we go. After months of brutal fighting and the help of, well, half of the world, we have successfully returned to mainland France. And there we go, ignore the random border guard in part of France, I believe that will be fixed with a focus. Ever since our defeat in the Seconde Guerre Mondiale, loyal soldiers and politicians alike fled the country in fear of Nazi persecution, and out of refusal to acknowledge Marshal Patton's government, it is a good opportunity to now call out for our brothers and sisters to return to the newborn republic and aid their home in its heroic struggle against its enemy. As the last strongholds of the French state loyalists begin to disarm, the victorious Free French has successfully overthrew the previous regime as a new chapter of hope dawns for France. Liberty at last. And now, with the liberation of France complete and the mainland of France retaken, there is only one thing left for us to do. With the full backing of the Security Council, the United Nations has passed a historic resolution. For the first time in its so far short history, the UN has authorized and actively supports a military action, citing the vast humanitarian abuses and many wars of aggression of the Nazis and declaring that the military force is now the only way to bring the injustices and gross breaches of human rights to an end. The UN has come far. And with UN backing, the US has staged an intervention in the German Civil War, and well, it's time for us to reclaim the French lands that are rightfully ours. Well, 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 how the tables have turned. The Germans are the one encircled in Dunkirk this time. Oh, and here, interestingly, Americans and British are actually also pushing the Germans here in Denmark. Ah, the return of Alsace-Lorraine. You love to see it. And here it seems like with naval invasions left and right, uh, the Germans are starting to break, actually. Uh, And A, it seems like the British took a Germania here. And hey, we finally closed up the pocket here in the Ruhr area. Yeah, it seems like Germany isn't quite able to withstand the strength of half of the world against fascism. Hey, what is that? 20 divisions? Nice. And there we go. The Greater German Reich has capitulated and Nazism is no more.
the last scattered remains of the once mighty Greater German Reich has surrendered. With its collapse, the full horrifying extent of the reign of terror has been apparent. Tens of millions killed and more millions enslaved. Officials of all the allied nations that struggled against Nazism have promised a new beginning in which peace, order and freedom will be established in Europe. The end of a dark era. And there we go, after a round of negotiations, the German Confederal Union has been established. And we are given all of the territories that we once owned, including Pas de Calais and Alsace-Lorraine. And with that, we will end today's video. Starting off as merely a British puppet in the barren corners of West Africa and ranked 102nd in the world economy, we have gained independence, we have taken France, and now we have defeated Germany with the help of the Toronto Accord from across the world. And while in just three years time, we are now the second biggest economy in the world. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, this is a bit of a short one. Don't worry, uh, the mega campaign will come out in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. 80% uh, of you haven't done so. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Viva la France!